Hello, and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today, we're gonna to go do a ham radio POTA activation. In particular, the park is Kilo 6867, Nyholman State Forest here in Connecticut. So in the go kit here, I've got my 891, my Bioeno battery, a tuner, and some other odds and ends. And the antenna that I'm gonna to use today is that vertical that I built out of surplus military poles and Harbor Freight tape measure radials. I've tried it here in the yard. I've made some contacts on 40 and 20, but we're gonna put it to the test today on a real activation and see what happens. Okay, let's head to the park. Okay, as you can see, this park is directly across the street from my house. Let's take a closer look. Okay, as you may be able to see over there, that's my house, and we are sitting in a parking area for the Nyholman State Forest here. Now, this was recently cleared of timber because all of the trees in here were kind of dead and falling down from a snowstorm we had back in 2011. So the state came in and harvested some of these trees, which made for actually a, a pretty convenient clearing over here to set up antennas in. So I think this is gonna work out great for me. Okay, so we're in a section of Nyholman State Forest. Now this isn't the main section of the forest, but it is part of the state forest called Nyholman here in Connecticut. As is the case in Connecticut, a lot of times as the state forests are kind of built out and grow, they tend to not be contiguous because of the way that the land is acquired. Anyway, this is definitely a part of Nyholman State Forest. It's just not the main section. Okay, so anyway, I think what I'm gonna do is get the antenna set up here so we can get on the air. Now, it is kind of chilly out, so I think I'm gonna run the coax back to the Tahoe and <laughs> sit in there and operate today. Okay, so my usual coax here, which is about 30 feet long or so, isn't gonna be long enough. I put the antenna too far away from these stones and I can't get the truck in any further. So luckily I brought my other longer piece of coax, so we'll just use that today. Hopefully, as you can see behind me here, I've got the antenna all put up. Okay, and I will mention that I had a couple of hiccups. Even though I've tested this antenna several times in the yard, it's never the same when you're out in the field, even when the field is, you know, 100 yards from your house. So if nothing else, this was a good test to shake the antenna down while I'm still close to home and, you know, could run over there and get tools or whatever I need, I guess. So anyway, I think we're ready to get the radio set up and get on the air and see if we can make some contacts. Okay, so I've been fooling around here for about an hour now and uh, couldn't get anything to tune up or work and things were intermittent. And what I found out was that this gray coax that I was using is no good. It's uh, something's wrong with it. I don't know if there's a break somewhere or one of the ends is bad, but I switched over to my shorter coax and everything was fine. But the problem is, is it won't reach the Tahoe and I'm too lazy to walk back across the street and get my chair and table. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit here on the ground and uh, try and activate here. So as I was gonna do an hour ago, I'm gonna try and get tuned up on 40 and uh, see if I can make some contacts there and then uh, see how much time I have left and kind of work my way up from there. Okay, so I'm here on 40 meters. I've been listening to 7204 for a little while and it sounds clear, so maybe we'll call CQ here. Is this frequency in use? 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 CQ POTA, CQ POTA, CQ POTA. November 1, November Uniform Golf. November 1, November Uniform Golf. Calling CQ POTA from Kilo 6867 in Connecticut. Yeah, whiskey, Bravo 8, Charlie 
Charlie, Papa Golf, you're a 5555 five, five, five in Ohio, QSL. Alpha Delta 8, Delta Alpha. Kilo, Foxtrot 8, Golf. Victor Alpha 3, Tango, Tango, Bravo. Victor Echo 3, Zulu, November. Victor Echo 3, Zulu, November. Mark, Mark, Q and Alpha 4, India, Uniform, Foxtrot. 32. Okay, I got the park to park. Kilo Golf 4, uh, Uniform India Foxtrot. Was that correct? Uh, almost. Kilo Golf 4, India Uniform Foxtrot. India Uniform Foxtrot. Okay, got it that time. Dyslexia. Okay, you're 5-5 five, five here into Kilo 6867 in Connecticut. Okay, very good. Thanks for the park to park from Virginia. Uh, 7 3 and enjoy the day. Good luck on your activation. You also have a good day. 7 3. Thanks for the park to park. 7 3. N1 NUG QRZ. Kilo Echo 8, Lima Golf November. Yes, uh, Victor Echo 3, Papa Yankee Juliet. Victor Echo 3, Papa Yankee Juliet. Kilo 8, India, Quebec. Kilo Echo 8, India, Hotel X-Ray. Okay, so we're over here on 20 meters. I'm all tuned up, and uh, we're just looking for a clear frequency. I think I might have found one here. CQ parks on the air. CQ parks on the air. November 1, November Uniform Golf. November 1, November Uniform Golf. Calling CQ parks on the air from Kilo 6867 in Connecticut. It's ashes it's from his ash. fire. Yeah, on the phone. That's not snow, that's ashes snow from fire. this guy burning brush over here. And it's coming all the way over to here. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably got a big fire. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, November 1, November Uniform Golf, calling CQ Poda from Kilo 6867 in Connecticut. Victor Echo 5, X3 Uniform. November 1, November Uniform Golf. November 1, November Uniform Golf. Calling CQ POTA from Kilo 6867 in Connecticut. Frequency is in use. Frequency is in use. The frequency is in use. <laughs> it's too cold out here anyway. There's a South Carolina QSO party going on and a guy fired up on my frequency there. He probably couldn't hear me. But anyway, I think I'm going to wrap up for now and uh, head back. i got some other things i got to do. Okay, so we're going to wrap up here. Now, behind the camera, you didn't see it for most of this activation, but we had KB1WQK here. This is my sister, and she was helping out uh, and just kind of observing and seeing what's going on here. And it's a good thing that she came down because the battery in my phone died. So she was able to do all the spotting and let me know what time it was when I was making the contacts. So anyway, thanks to KB1WQK and everybody for making the contacts and watching. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. And if you'd like to support my channel in another way, please consider visiting my Amazon store, which you'll find linked in the description below. Thanks to KB1WQK for her help, and thanks for watching.